If you are seeing vertical lines on your laptop screen, then we know how to fix it. Watch this video till the end and learn how to solve it. Hey, you are watching Silicophilic, the home of all tech solutions. When you find vertical lines on your laptop screen, follow the instructions as shown here to fix it. Before we get into the solution, subscribe to our channel for future tech support. Also, like this video if it helps you solve this issue. Don't forget to comment your feedback on the solutions or if you are facing any issue while performing them. We also have a Facebook group of troubleshooting experts where you can share your tech issues and get direct help. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Now, let's jump into the solutions. First, you need to enter BIOS. This way, you will understand whether it's a hardware issue or a software issue. Restart your PC and press the BIOS key when the PC starts. Once you have entered BIOS, check if you see the vertical lines. If yes, then it's a hardware issue and you will have to take it to the nearest service center. The problem may be with the ribbon cable of your laptop. This ribbon cable connects the laptop screen to your motherboard. If it is damaged, then you need to replace it. After replacing the ribbon cable, reconnect your laptop to the power source and turn it on. If you don't see the vertical lines, then it was a software issue and can be fixed with the other solutions shown here. Method 2 Now that you know it's a software issue, first try to clean boot. Press Win plus R hotkeys to launch run. Now enter msconfig in the command box and press the enter key. From the system configuration window, select the services tab and check the Hide All Microsoft Services box. Click on the Disable All option for disabling all the services running in the background. Close the window and right click on your Windows taskbar. Select Task Manager and go to the Startup tab. Right click on the apps in the startup tab and select the disable option to disable them. Finish the process and reboot your computer. Method 3. Next, you need to check if you are using the recommended display resolution. Right click on a space on your desktop screen. Select display settings. In the settings, the window goes to the right pane and click on the drop down menu for display resolution. Select the recommended resolution. Method 4 After setting the display resolution to the recommended settings, you need to update the graphics driver. Right click on the start menu. and select Device Manager. Expand the Display Adapters section. Right click on the Graphics Driver and select Update Driver. Click on the Search Automatically for Drivers option and Windows will begin to search for the latest available drivers. After installing the latest drivers, restart your system. So that's it. If this video has helped you in figuring this issue, then give us a like and subscribe to our channel. If the issue isn't resolved from the solutions we have shown here, comment below to let us know and our team will try their best to help you out. Also join our Facebook group for direct tech support. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching Silicophilic.